Hello and welcome to the Techland Show. I'm Lev Grossman. I'm Steve Snyder. And Peter Ha is not here. He's in good old Vegas, where he is most weekends, but he's gone there during the week this time. Yeah, no, it's a work thing this time. He's at uh, CES, um, covering this year's big announcements in consumer technology. Funny, fun fact, um, consumer uh, technology reporters hate to go to CES. And why is that? Um, because it's always a nightmare, and uh, there are 90 things going on at once. And uh, all the cool things that are announced, um, you write about. And then a year later, you're like, whatever happened to that thing that was going to solve global warming? <laughs> oh, it never came out. Yeah, they never, the, uh, it was just a prototype. Do you think this might be where 3D TV will be in a couple of years? That it was the big hype uh, this year, but does anyone really care? Uh, Would you watch 3D TV? No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't watch 2D TV. Mm. I watch one D T V. It's just it's just a dot. <laughs> Microsoft, a very aggressive move, trying to steal a little of uh, Apple's thunder, I guess. It didn't look that impressive though. I've been watching all the demos and I'm I'm not sure. No, I mean it's funny, I was at Comdex in like two thousand and Microsoft showed off a tablet then. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I guess we've come full circle. And it sounded like they had a lot of technical glitches right before the presentation, which I thought was sort of ironic. It is ironic. <laughs> Microsoft is very familiar with that kind of irony. I just, the tablet, I tend to be a skeptic about it. There has been really no demonstrable consumer demand for this product. That has been the flavor of, you know, the decade. You know, if anybody can create demand for something that nobody realized they wanted, it's <laughs> Apple. But it's gonna take Apple to do that. Microsoft can't do that. But the big thing so far came out before CES when Peter was out. I think we're putting up a video that will probably be up by the time anyone watches this show of, you know, breaking down the Google phone. Yes. Did I say that Google right? made a phone. I'm the TV guy, movie guy. I don't, I don't know gadgets. Yeah. Nexus One. Yes. The ne it's weird for Google to be getting into the consumer hardware business. That's very odd. And otherwise, you know, Android is now another competitive smartphone running. Android makes it more attractive apps writers, I guess. It's not a revolutionary thing at all. Um, it's just seemed Peter was saying that the functionality is really good. It's, you know, it's good when it comes to just smartphones, but it's still no iPhone, and don't even pretend that it, it's, it, it could be. You know, no one's going to switch from the iPhone, because they have to have the Google phone. I wish I had an iPhone. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> it makes my life a non-stop <laughs> festival of joy. But <laughs> until the battery dies. First week, everyone's like, yeah, the box office is okay. Right. Um, and now it's made more than a billion dollars. I don't know. The consensus seems to be the special effects really are that groundbreaking. Yeah, he did it. He did what he said he was going to do. He did. Uh, the bar was high and he, and he got over it. King of the world. And how are you feeling about its Oscar chances? Oscar, I mean, it seems... I've been reading you know, some of those Oscar pundits, and they seem to say that the, the sure things are up in the air, precious... An Avatar. It seems to just be accepted now that this, that when the critical reviews match the hype, when the box office match the hype, that this thing could really go out there. I think the best chances it might have are in the best actress area. I've written about this. That yeah. This could be the first CG performance that gets some serious, you know, it could be one of the five nominees for best actress. At least I think right. it should. I don't know. That would be cool. But the, the, uh, the academies, they're all fogies, right? They don't. Go they are fogies. Stuff. Green on black. Why would you need more colors than that? <laughs> and what was the one? There was one that you couldn't find a link to or a video to. Bolo Man. If Bolo. anybody out there is a fellow Bolo Man, call me. If you send him a video, we will put it up. But wait, they can find the whole list, though, still up, right? The top ten Apple II games. Yeah. It's the most underrated underrated gaming platform of the 80s, I think. It's where it all, it all began. <laughs> and what's your favorite? What was the number one? Oh, Load Runner. You're a li little dude, you could dig holes, bad guys would fall into them. <laughs> That's what I do it's in, about my, as in my dreams. <laughs> That's I, the next book we can look forward to? I dig, Just I the dig, guy who digs I holes. Dig holes. Page two. Peter page falls four. into them. That's what happens <laughs> in my dreams.